Hey Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host Shahzeb signing in. We're back with another video guys. In this video we will be discussing Stronghold SHX modifying payments. It's going to be an interesting one guys so make sure to watch till the end. And folks for those of you who are new to the channel we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon so do check that out as as well only if you're interested and folks keep your assets safe and for that you guys can check out the crypto growth exclusive discount offer on decent decent is convenient safe and secure you can check out their biometric wallet which has got an attractive $50 off and you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package guys which has got a phenomenal $129 off only if you follow the link in the description box below by the way folks decent supports 3000 plus of your favorite coins and tokens and it supports 50 plus blockchain mainnets including stellar i personally prefer storing the assets in a cold hardware wallet so do check out decent and be safe anyways guys now let's see what's happening with shx in real time official handles and everything so guys i was going through the stronghold x handle and i I came across this interesting post over here which i want to share with you guys look at this october 17th this is latest iso 2022 is here to transform payment reconciliation processes look at this guys uh 2022 labs if you do not know stronghold has basically bought it a stronghold is deeply associated with it look at this a single payment can be sent with remittance data to cover multiple invoices this is how uh, these are small details but this is how uh, shx and these companies guys this uh, these uh, utility projects they are trying to change transform modify payments and uh, everything and anything associated with it receive confirmation of the payment credited to your account with details about what it is for all at once learn about the benefits of iso 2022 at 2022 labs.com we're going to be looking at those at that in a moment let's see this video first in just a moment just a moment let me okay so yeah 2022 labs presents iso 2022 use cases iso 2022 is here to transform payment reconciliation processes here's how uh, okay so let's see first and foremost guys we've got consolidated payments receive a single payment that covers multiple invoices guys this is great if someone wants to basically cover uh, multiple invoices in a single payment they can use it reducing transaction fees obviously if you generate different invoices uh, it's going to be costing a bit uh, of, of a fees it's going to be a hassle it will reduce the transaction fees and simplify the cash flow management what else do we have okay so secondly rich remittance data each payment comes with detailed remittance information clearly outlining which invoices are being settled so basically clearing out the air and uh, it's going to be transfer uh, transparent and the information would be clear and uh, vivid awesome instant confirmation guys uh, this is a huge one because guys in the outdated systems in the legacy systems at the moment uh, guys instant confirmation is rare to be very honest because if you send someone money or all over uh, all across the globe or in a in global south or in a de developing country we never know that if whether they get instant confirmation or not it takes a while before these net or different networks and sources they get involved and then eventually it, the, the information reaches there and uh, as and the payment reaches uh, it will take a while for the payment to reach basically 
with the, the with the 20022 labs and ISO 20022 get immediate notification when the payment is credited to your account complete with a breakdown or of, of what the payment covers guys not only would would someone be credited instantly uh, with the with the payment but uh, they will know what the payment covers as as well guys this is great okay what else do we have we've got automated reconciliation the detailed data allows for easy integration with your accounting systems potentially automating your entire reconciliation process awesome improved cash flow visibility with instant confirmations and detailed breakdowns you'll have a clearer real-time view of your cash cash position obviously guys clarity is needed and obviously with the legacy systems we're uh, although we have reached uh, that uh, the pro uh, that glass ceiling but we are yet to break that guys we are still lagging behind in a lot of different sectors uh, and uh, dimensions that's for sure learn about the benefits of iso 2022 at use cases okay so be ready 2022 labs guys let's see this the the use cases over here uh, i've opened the website over here let's see so there are a large number of interesting and beneficial use cases for iso 2022 messages as we work with industry groups and individual organizations we will continue to develop the list below lab members receive access to detailed use cases and case studies as well as advisory services to help you apply our learnings specifically to your company so guys let's see the use cases different use cases over here we've got vendor payments uh we've got summary over here guys a corporate make uh, you have to read the, these out yourselves a bit long but you guys can uh, you get you, you'll get the idea over here a corporate makes periodic payments to a supplier for services rendered a single payment can sometimes cover multiple invoices that we talked about with iso 2022 a payment can be sent with remittance data that details one or multiple invoices that a single payment is intended to cover so guys what what does this do guys the benefits are automated reconciliation data full payments enhanced interoperability lower operational costs reduction in check use cool what else do we have uh, funds disbursements uh, a corporate disperses funds to customers by submitting a bulk payments file to their financial institution uh, so with iso 22 or 2022 20 capability guys each payment message can carry data on what the payment is a for is, is for example customer account number what it is for the invoice number and obviously any adjustments such as early payment discounts and all of that stuff guys then we've got uh, uh, the benefits are automated reconciliation data full payments lower operational costs reduction in check uh, check use awesome uh, we've got e-invoicing guys over here a biller sends electronic invoices with iso 20022 request to pay functionality for monthly payments from customers who do not wish to set up pre-authorized debits from their bank account payment links in the e-invoices enable customers to initiate payments with data fields pre-populated with info about the payment guys the AE invoices hasn't totally gone uh, ha hasn't totally gained mass adoption and i think that going forward uh, we will have this sort of uh, uh, use case in the blockchain obviously guys we've got we've gone digital but yet uh, a lot of uh, b b beneficial aspects can be achieved with blockchain as well guys and projects such as stronghold and we're talking about the 2022 labs we've got the benefits over here as well faster collections uh, improved customer service uh, the rest are the same as a form mentioned we've got uh, telecommunications over here matching historical payments if a company makes a repetitive 
payment. A telco can use that historical ma uh, historical payment to match and automatically apply a payment by reconcil uh, reconciling between bank deposit and email. Uh, we've got refund payments, guys. Now, this is a great one because oftentimes we would want re uh, refund, guys, if, if, if merchants are involved, if customers are involved, wherever services are involved, there should be a use case for refunds as well, guys. So look at this. A telco di disperses refunds for multiple clients by submitting a bulk payments file to their financial institution. So what does ISO 20022 does? Uh, each payment message can carry data on what the payment is for including customer or invoice number and any adjustments awesome bill payments we've got bill payments as well crediting prepaid minutes to prepaid mobile users commission fees paid to managing general agents we've got vendor payments for multiple invoices as well life and health property and casualty we've got insurance over here Awesome guys, multiple use cases, commission fees paid to insurance brokers, agents, insurance, claims disbursements through a third party administrator, claims dis disbursements, file based payments, awesome, premium collections, e-invoicing for recurring payments, premium collections request to pay feature, premium collections from insurance brokers, agents, so we've got multiple use cases over here, guys, multiple use cases. And uh, for what I understand is, guys, ISO 20022, the standard is trying to metamorphose, transform, modify payments. And the way we learn, uh, we know about remittances and a lot of these different sectors. Look at this. An insurer, for, uh, for instance, sends a payment request using ISO 20022 request to pay functionality to a policyholder when their monthly premium payment via direct debit fails to go through the policyholder accepts by clicking on a payment in initiation link in the message a payment instruction is auto populated with remittance data example policy number provided by the insurer in the payment request message funds are immediately transferred from the policyholder to the insurer without the need to share bank account info awesome guys let's see what's happening with the community while we're at it we've got uh, this is shocker 55 over here why, why am i thinking sell, uh, selling everything and buying only shx a red pill pro the roi is crazy awesome yeah guys for those that believe in shx they they are obsessed with it for what we can see very much like shx right now so yeah a bit of technicals over here uh if it breaks through this trend line obviously it's going down let's hope it does not break the uh, the lower one let's hope the momentum builds builds up and uh, the upper one the resistance lines are broken hopefully I have a big bag of SHX and no one ever mentions it. <laughs> yeah, if targets hit for Velo and SHX, I'll cash out, pay off the mortgage. Best of luck, the Californian. Let's hope that you pay off your mortgage. We all hope that uh, we achieve uh, what we want to achieve. Okay. Uh, SHX guru over here, he has replied to Mr. Zach Rector over here. This could get out of hand quickly. Uh, he has replied over here that unbelievable how you are how you are now promoting rug pulls while still refusing to do a deep dive on true utility for your followers. You sir know what is coming with SHX, yet incapable of sharing true knowledge. Be careful, any everyone. I mean, everyone uh, should. Do your, their own due diligence and uh, hold whatever they have conviction in. And no one can force anyone. Obviously, I do not like uh, force imposition of ideas regardless. Anyways, to each their own. The last eight days, 91 trust lines created, 9 funded, 10 burned from total supply. Every two to three months, the funded trust line number drops 200 to 300 over a couple of hours. I assume there's a collective group doing this, shaking up the price. The trust lines do not drop. 
Anyways, guys, what do you guys think about SHX? Do you think that it it, in, it indeed is modifying payments? I would really like your opinions. Do hit the comment box below and let the community know. Anyways, guys, this was it for the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon, so do check that out. Like I always say in the end, until next time, stay blessed and stay tuned. Thank you very much, everyone. Come on.